On the 5th of May 2021, I started my day at a little past 8.30 in the morning. It is a Wednesday and it's another one of those days in which I can no longer put off dealing with things that I need to do outside of the house. I mail off the notebook orders every Monday evening, but that is usually very quick. I drive to the courier, drop off the parcels, and then go back home. So that sort of doesn't count because I'm in and out of the courier office in less than 15 minutes. By the way, if you can hear some squeaking noises together with my voice in this video, that is Oakley. He is outside the bedroom door. He's playing with his squeaky toy. Well, on this day, the 5th of May, just a regular Wednesday, let me take you around with me as I run my errands. The first errand of the day was to withdraw some money from the ATM. There is a row of machines right outside this bank. And then after that, I dropped by Prime Digital Print Center to get my new business cards printed. Here is their brochure. You can pause the video if you want to take down their contact details and address. They made me pick a cardstock material that I wanted and there are some really nice ones here. Sadly, they did not have gray cards that I liked. They told me that if I wanted a gray background, I needed to place that color into the layout file directly and I was fine with a basic white card anyway. But this semi-transparent plastic card looks quite nice. I don't think it will work if you have too many elements in your business card layout, but if it's a minimalistic card design like mine with only my name or my logo type and a QR code on it, this is going to work. However, this semi-transparent plastic card costs 700 pesos for a pack of 100 cards, so I ended up opting for the basic white card, which is much cheaper. I was also able to buy a cup of taho. This is a super favorite Filipino drink, usually available only in the mornings from men who go around neighborhoods and inner city streets with their large containers of tofu, syrup, and pearl beads. I got my service contract and the basic white business cards cost me only 250 pesos for a pack of 100 business cards. I can pick up the cards by the next day. At around half past nine in the morning, I started getting a little sleepy, so I went home to take a break. I went inside my room, which is dark because of the curtains, which I made myself and which I love. Link to the curtains will be in the description box. And then I took a nap, and then after that, I got lunch. At 12.30, I left the house again and went to a shopping mall. This is SM and I went to photo line right here because I needed to get some passport photographs of myself taken. I was just in a plain round neck t-shirt, but that's okay because the photo service can electronically cover that up with an attire that I choose. And I chose a basic white collared shirt with a black blazer. I posed for my picture and then they told me to wait for a little while, like 30 to 45 minutes. While waiting for them to process my pictures, I dropped by National Bookstore because I needed some folio-sized folders and some paper clips. I chose these basic file folders in a sort of yellowish cream color and also a ballpoint pen in a clicker form because I needed this for more convenient and quick jotting down of stuff. Yes, I do use ballpoint pens, but only for specific purposes and only in a clicker form because I lose the cap all the time. And I said that I needed paper clips, but they didn't have any except for the ones that come in a set like this. And I only needed about 10. I actually never use paper clips myself. I just need them now because I'll have to clip together some documents that I need to submit to a few people as instructed by one of my former bosses. And after paying for the folders and clicker ballpoint pen, I walked over to the department store nearby to look for the paper clips that I needed. They do have an office supply section in here, which is downstairs. These tiny binder clips would definitely work these paper clips might not, but they might come in handy just in case. And I honestly feel bad that we have to buy paper clips on a per box basis because I don't use these, except when I have to submit papers to other people and sometimes I even just use a stapler if the sheaf isn't too thick. 
But anyway, maybe I can give these away to someone who needs them. I also saw these rigid semi-transparent envelopes with a snap closure. Here is a bigger one and it has a gray piping and I like this. I also saw these organizers that go on top of your desk. These are very similar to the Muji ones and they are very popular now. And I also saw this white plastic zippered pouch with a mesh design but it's not really mesh. This is very good quality. It's only 49 pesos, but it was too small, so I didn't get it. I ended up getting this semi-transparent snap closure one, the binder clips, and the paper clips. While waiting for my turn at the cashier, I saw these desk lamps, which look quite nice, but I know that something like these are much cheaper at Shopee, even when shipping is included. And I also saw this small round clip fan that I know hardly ever emits any wind and a bunch of wired earphones. The fans come in two colors apparently, but no, I do not recommend these. After paying for my purchases, I realized that I was very thirsty and I dropped by this stall right here called Rafa Bells to order a cold drink. I forgot to show them my person with disability card, so I wasn't able to get the food discount, but that's okay. And I am also, incidentally, field testing this clear binder that's personal sized. I have an unboxing of this on my channel, and it will be linked below. And I have set this up as my wallet, and so far I am liking it. It is very, very convenient. I ordered the Black Forest drink, just the small one, and it looks so yummy. And now I can walk back to Photo Line to get my passport sized photos. And they were indeed ready by the time I got there. And the next place to go to was the place where I needed to get these personal data sheets notarized. This is a government form, a standard form for all government employees. And I am here now in this spot. I call this the photocopy and notary place because this is a reasonably sized hub to get photocopies done and to get your documents notarized. Notarization usually requires multiple copies so people just just find it so convenient to take their original original documents here, get them photocopied, and then get the whole bunch notarized in one step. I usually just park here, someone comes over, takes my documents, and then comes back with them already notarized, and then I give them my payment. And it's usually very quick. I got mine back in a little over five minutes, and I did not have to leave the car. It's a rather hot day. I kept the air conditioning on, and clearly people here are not observing physical distancing, so no way am I getting out of my car. The next errand is to get my very long hair cut off and get a new short hairstyle. This is the salon of my friend and longtime hair and makeup artist Nilo Delgado. And he observes pandemic protocols here. He sees clients on an appointment basis only. So here there is just me and him and we are both wearing face masks. I decided to get my hair cut because I have been planning to donate my hair to an organization that makes wigs for cancer patients for free. I am donating my hair to Hair for Hope. I will link their Facebook page below. They need hair that is at least 12 inches long or about 30.5 centimeters long if you use the metric system. And my hair is longer than that already. And my hair is naturally salt and pepper. I don't dye my hair, and that is my natural hair color. Hair for Hope also requires that the hair be tied and then braided before cutting it off. So that's what Nilo did here, as you can see. And now I don't usually broadcast whenever I give to charity unless people need to be updated. In this case, I don't have to update anyone, but I want to shout out to everyone that if you don't have cash or material possessions to give to charity, hair is what you actually can donate. But before you get your hair cut, find an organization first and coordinate with them so you will know what kind of hair they can accept and how long it should be and how you should prepare the hair before you can send it to them. Also, this is my very first time ever to donate hair and I'm quite excited so I've included it in this vlog.
The hair to be donated turned out to be about 41 centimeters long. And I'm required to seal it in plastic and mail it via courier. After Nilo cut my hair into more or less the short hairstyle that I used to have around 2015 or 2016, I went to the next errand, which is this hardware depot. I like this place a lot. It's called Wilcon Depot, and my only purpose for coming here is because I need shorter bolt screws for my book press. These are the wooden plates that I used to use for binding the thick 500 page notebooks but I don't have time to do those thick notebooks anymore. They take at least five hours to make so I'll be converting this into a book press that can bind only the 300 page notebooks which I do have time to make. I know I can use the longer screws to bind thinner notebooks but they are too long and it takes additional time to screw the nuts on so I'm using shorter screws to make my notebook making tasks quicker and more convenient for me. I quickly found what I was looking for. I needed 8mm screws that are about 3 inches long but before going to the cashier let me just show you what's in here. Like I said it's a large place and you can find all sorts of stuff in here. At the cashier, there's also some weird nice things like this water bottle that also has a Bluetooth speaker. This is a super bright LED flashlight. And I'm not sure if this is paracord. And there is a pale organizer which does not look very good. And then I was done with my task here but on the way out let me show you a little bit more of what they have they have a ton of tiles these are all tiles right here tiles of all kinds and these mosaic ones are very pretty i really like the gray ones i dropped by a gasoline station to gas up and by the way, I always gas up at Petron because I do have a loyalty card for here. And after that, it was on to the next errand. I took the detour to go to another mall because this mall is along the highway. I've taken you here before. This is called Robinson's. And there are two ways to get here. One is through the usual route that everyone uses, which is congested with traffic at this time of day. And another way is through this detour road that approaches the mall building from the side, as you can see here. I had to buy an envelope that I can use to mail my hair donation to Hair for Hope. And there is a national bookstore here. And I also remembered that I needed a black stamp pad for something and I saw a big one which wasn't too expensive but the small one was actually more expensive because it's a branded one so I ended up picking the large and cheaper one. After paying for my items, I walked to the nearby LBC and finally dropped off my hair donation. I sealed up the Ziploc plastic, put it inside the envelope, and handed it to the courier staff. Here is the address of Hair for Hope, to which my hair donation will be delivered in a few days. It was actually not yet too late in the day. I thought I could still take care of at least one more task for the day, which was to take my car in for a wash and vacuum. And that car wash was actually on the way home. And I started going there, but it was already 5.30 in the afternoon at rush hour on the inner city streets have already become clogged because even when I'm in the highway, the congestion has spilled over to here at this point, And I was kind of tired and my car... Uh, won't die if I don't have it cleaned so I decided to turn around and take the long route home which will make me pass by the shopping mall that we have just come from but this is the very very long way home which will allow me to bypass the rush hour traffic and after a little bit of driving I was already home it was a full day and also a memorable one